Look at me boosting production value with an external microphone. This microphone is very sensitive and I feel like I should start doing ASMR with it. Let's chat. <laughs> I find it kind of ironic about myself that I, what was it, a year ago, two years ago, when I kind of returned to YouTube, I did that whole Hello People of the Internet version two. And in that video, I said, I am not a brand, I'm a person. And then I immediately turned myself into a brand. Initially, it was with like educational content videos that was really more just me ranting about censorship, which like, go off. But then I lost my job and I was like, well, you know, I'm going to dive into this YouTube thing hardcore. Not because I think I'm gonna make money off of it, although that would be really nice. I'm not making any of that sweet, sweet YouTuber money. More just because I needed a project that kind of had those short-term deadlines. Because I am like focusing on school right now, but I need something with those like shorter deadlines. I don't know if I'm explaining myself very well. It doesn't matter. The funny thing though is I immediately turned to crafting and decided, you know, crafting is what I have to do every single week. And I felt weird about doing anything else. And so Somewhere at like two o'clock in the morning one day a couple weeks ago, I was like, you know, I really want to get back to talking about books, but I've kind of turned my channel into a crafting channel. So I feel like I can't really talk about books on that channel now because it's not a book channel. And so I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> let's start a whole other channel because 2 a.m. brain does stuff like that. I don't know. I started another channel. I posted like two videos. One of them was an introduction video and one was like a content video. And then I kind of came to my senses and realized like, am I really trying to do two channels again? Like I've been down this path before and it did not end successfully. Like nothing bad happened. We don't talk about the other channel anymore because I deleted it. But there was another time in my life when I decided I'm gonna dive into YouTube and that was right after I graduated with my undergrad because I was working part-time and I just needed a thing. And I was like, I'm going to start an art channel. And for whatever reason, I decided the art channel had to be a daily thing, which is so stupid. Basically what I'm getting at is I need to stop making other channels and just focus on the one because, you know, I go a year without posting and then just dive in head first into YouTube and I need to work on the consistency thing. But one layer of consistency at a time. I am not a brand. And being that I am not a brand and being that I am a person with so many interests in so many different directions, most of them within the umbrella of creativity, branching into education and weird random weirdness. What I'm getting at is my content is gonna change and I need to stop apologizing mostly to myself about it because I feel like anytime I do, I do this in my own brain, I feel like I have to make a video about it just to announce like, hey, I'm changing when like, I feel like it's my brand at this point to be inconsistent with the kind of content I produce. But I still feel the need to make a video about it because if I don't, then I will feel like others are confused even though nobody is confused except for me. So here's where I'm at. I am making the promise that at least through this stage in my life, whatever you want to call this stage that is this current stage in my life. I am making a new video every Wednesday and I am calling it whatever Wednesdays because it will just be whatever video I make that week, which is already kind of what it's been. But I've been trying really hard to be a craft channel when that is not the entirety of what I do and that's not the entirety of what I want to do. So whatever Wednesdays, it's what I'm officially calling it. See a new video from me every Wednesday. It'll be whatever it is. And to kick off this newfound whatever Wednesdays, I am going to be posting a one minute short film that I did for my film production class on Wednesday. So enjoy that. My husband and I spent like four hours filming it. There is no dialogue and it's a little strange, but I did get an A, so that's what matters. So crafting, book talks, educational content, random vlogs where I talk about things, random little short films and skits. I haven't done a skit in a hot minute. I feel like the last real skit that I did was the being afraid of balloon animals, 
which if you haven't watched that one, you should watch that one because it's cool. With that, I am going to go. I will see you on Wednesday with my short film and then every Wednesday after that for the foreseeable future with whatever I post that week. But one thing you can know for certain, this is my first and last dabble in ASMR because honestly it's kind of cringe. No offense if you enjoy it, but it's not, it's not for me. It kind of makes me feel a little anxious. Also, you can hear all of my mouth noises and I'm asthmatic so you can hear my breathing like really intently when I breathe, but you can hear so much from this microphone. like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more Whatever Wednesdays. Also, while you're down there, leave a comment and tell me what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. I'm still not entirely sure what my outro should be. I feel like at this point, my outro is just me not knowing what to say for an outro. Yay. I will see you next time. Okay, bye. I can't read the camera from here. You can hear my elbow popping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. We're